so good morning students in the last class uh, we have discussed about full intercostal muscles so uh, today we'll start with uh, diaphragm so this is the diaphragm okay so uh, the diaphragm where does it lie lies here okay it lies here it separates your torso from your abdomen means torso means what your trunk area this area understand this area is known as torso from your abdomen means your abdomen is this side down side understand this diaphragm they separates your torso this is your torso and your abdomen this side understand this means torso abdomen is this side and the diaphragm lies in, in between the middle understand the diaphragm it lies in the middle and this diaphragm uh, they are involved in what they are involved in or they are uh, mainly responsible for breathing understand breathing such as uh, when your contraction contraction occurs no? in your lungs contraction occurs in your lungs that is when you inhale and when you exhale at that time the diaphragm is responsible understand i'll repeat again this is your diaphragm and this diaphragm it separates your torso from your abdomen torso means this part the upper part and your abdomen is downside this is this side and the diaphragm lies in the middle it separates uh, the torso in your abdomen and this diaphragm helps you in what diaphragm they help you in contraction contraction when means when you breathe when you breathe in when you breathe out so at that time uh, the diaphragm is responsible they help you in that is it clear everyone about diaphragm Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is levator any. So, this levator any lies here in your uh, pelvis. Your pel pelvic girdle, you remember, no? In bones, I have taught you. So, it lies here. This uh, levator any. So levator any or ni, uh, this muscle, what what for what it is responsible? It is responsible, or else you can say they support the organs and tissues around your pelvis. Understand means whatever organs are there, and uh, whatever tissues are there in this pelvis, in your pelvic area, this area, they will support them. Especially, especially when when you urinate when uh, urination urinate and especially uh, and also during bowel movement bowel movement is what means for digestive system part you can see there is a gi tract you remember not gi tract digestive system so in all those cases the levator and i is responsible i'll repeat again this is the levator and or and i so uh, they lie where they lie in the pelvic Pelvic girdle, you remember no? in bones I've taught you, pelvic girdle. So it lies there. And this uh, levator and I, they help you in what they help you in? Uh, supporting your organs and tissues. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, they support you. They support the organs and tissues. And, um, and and also for what and also for urination when you pass urine okay for urination and also as well as bowel movements bowel movements uh, you can see in digestive system part that is the gi tract part so it helps you in that this levator and you are is it clear everyone Subhash, are you clear? Subhash, are you clear? Good, ma'am. 
Okay. Can you explain again? This one. This one, Jondi. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is a levator any or ani. So it lies where in your pelvic. You remember the pelvic area, pelvic girdle in bones. I have taught you. You remember it or not? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ah. So it lies there, this muscle. So uh, this levator and your ani, they supports organs, your organs and your tissues. And uh, they also help even what? Urination, when you urinate. And also, especially in female, I can say that. And also uh, in bowel movements. In bowel movements like what? Uh, digestive system part. Or your GI tract part, gastrointestinal part. So, uh, for those, uh, for that system also, and the levator and I, uh, they are responsible. They help you in performing all those things. Okay, you when you urinate and when uh, in the what in the GI tract means in the digestive system part, they help you in performing that. They help you in doing so. Is it clear? Are yes, you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next is muscle of upper extremities. So, uh, this is a muscle extremi uh, upper extremities. So, the it includes what? It includes your shoulders, your arms, your wrist, and your hand. This whatever is upside. Understand? Shoulders, your arms, your wrist. And your hands. So, all those other muscles. First is the trapezius, trapezius muscle here, at the back side. Understand? So, it um, means somewhere near the shoulder. So, the uh, tra trapezius muscle, they help you in what? They help you in tilting your head back, means you can bend like that. Next side, it helps you in that. Raising your shoulders means you can raise your shoulders. Understand? And also moving your shoulder blades together means in this way, together. Understand? Like this. You understand? So the trapezius muscles help you in that. Means moving your shoulder. I can, uh, you just know that like moving your shoulder. For your better understanding, I'm just saying. Uh, the trapezius muscle they help you in moving your shoulder. Understand? This is your trapezius muscle. Do you understand everyone about trapezius muscle? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. Huh. What is the meaning of a uh, tilting? Tilting means tilting. bending like this. Okay, raising up. Okay, ma'am. Raising up. Overall, okay, you just know that uh, trapezius muscle helps you in moving your, I mean, moving your upper side of your body. Understand? Moving mm -hmm. the shoulder, moving your shoulder, side uh, sideways, up, uh, up, down. Bending. Okay. Okay, next is pectoralis major. This one. This is your pectoralis major. And it is located where? This pectoralis major it is located in your upper chest. Okay, this is your chest. So it is located at the upper side. It is located at the upper side. And they are responsible for what? <clears throat> they are responsible for vertical and lateral movements of your arm. Means vertical means like this, okay, upside. And lateral means sideways. Means when you, when you uh, move sideways. Did you get it? 
means they have seen uh, movement of your arm i can say. okay your arms isn't it this is your arms so they have seen moving it down upside down side sideways rotate so they have seen uh, that thing it lies where in the upper part of your chest is it clear Activities major. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is deltoid. This is your deltoid. Means it's here. Okay. Can you see me? Okay. Can you see me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, here, this is your deltoid. Understand this area, this part. The picture also, I'm showing you again this one. This area is your deltoid. And uh, this deltoid, they have seen, uh, they have seen lifting or rotating your arm and your shoulder. Means same thing, like they have seen lifting, uh, lifting or rotating. You can rotate your arm. Understand, you can lift your arm at your shoulder in this way. They have to. This deltoid. Next is bicep brachii. So, this part. Understand, this part. This part. This part is your uh, bicep brachii. So, they have seen what? They, they have seen flexing your forearm means in this way. Flex. This is known as flex. Understand? Flex means this. So they help you in uh, flexing your arms. When this happens, your elbow bends. So one of the accept. When when you flex, when you flex your arm, what happens? Your elbow it bends or not? It's bending, now My elbow now. So this is it. So who is responsible? Who is uh, who is helping you in performing this in this way? Bicep brachii. Okay, do you understand bicep brachii? Yes? Ma'am. Okay. Next is tricep brachii. So it lies here, means this area, this part. And uh, they, this muscle, they have seen what they have seen, extending the forearm, straightening the elbow. Means it helps you in this. You can straighten your arm. Understand, you can straighten your arm and if you straighten your arm, what happens? Automatically, your elbow will also be straight. It's not it. This is your elbow. So, it will automatically be straight. So, it means that. Okay, is it clear about uh, tricep brachii? Yes, ma'am. Are you clear about... Um, is everyone clear yeah. about upper extremity muscle? Let me explain again the bicep brachii. Bicep brachii is this, this area. Okay, this area. Understand? So this bicep brachii, they helps you in what? Flexing your forearm. You can flex, you can flex your arm. It's not it. This is your forearm. Understand? This is your forearm. And they help you in flexing your arm. And when, uh, when you flex, when you flex your arm, what happens? Automatically, your, your elbow will be bent. It's not it. Your elbow will bend. So this is my elbow. So it will bend. Understand now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So are you all clear about uh, upper extremity muscle? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is muscle of lower extremities. So this is the muscle uh, which you will find in your lower extremities. Which, uh, <coughs> more, <coughs> sorry. Mostly you will be getting your lower extremities where? In your legs and your feet. Understand? This is your legs and feet. So the first muscle which you will be getting is gluteus muscle. This is the gluteus muscle. This one. In the buttock area you will find. In your buttock area, you will find a uh, what muscle? Gluteus muscle. 
and this gluteus muscle they have certain what they have certain movement of your hips this is your hips so they have certain movement understand they have certain movement of your hips and also your thighs this is your thigh so they have certain moving your hips this one and thighs and uh, they also helps in what they also helps in maintaining your posture when you stand up when you sit down and also when you climb up the stairs so uh, they are responsible for all those things i'll repeat again uh, this is a muscle of lower extremities so you will find in which area it will, you will be finding in your buttock area this uh, muscle okay, muscle of lower extremities and what is the name of the muscle which you will find in the lower extremities gluteus gluteus maximus okay or as gluteus muscle also you can say gluteus maximus so this is gluteus maximus and they have seen what this gluteus maximus they have seen movement of your hips understand they have some movement of your hips this area and as well as your thigh this area so uh, they are responsible for what is gluteus maximus they are responsible for maintaining posture and that is while standing up and while sitting and also while climbing up the stairs so in all this uh, physical activities the gluteus maximus they are responsible Okay, do you understand about gluteus maximus, everyone? Yes, is it clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Next is quadriceps. This one. This area. Okay, in your thigh area, you will get. So uh, this is the quadriceps. So uh, they are what they are a group of muscle which are found at the thigh. Okay, which are found at the thigh. This one, this both sides, and uh, they help you in what? They help you in straightening your leg at your knee. This is your knee, and they helps you to straighten your leg. Understand this quadriceps? Quadriceps, they, uh, where are they located? They are located in both sides of your thigh. And they work together. Okay, they work together to straighten your leg at the knee. This is your knee. So, uh, they help you to straighten your thigh, you can say. Is it clear, everyone? Quadriceps. Yes, ma'am. Okay, next is hamstrings. All this, all this area. Okay, all this part. So all this area, all this area, okay, all this area are known as hamstring muscle. So this hamstring muscle, they are located there at the back of your leg. Understand at the back front, what it was located, what muscle quadriceps. Understand quadriceps is there at the front, you can see your thigh at the back. What, what is the name of the muscle which you will find at the back of your thigh? Hamstrings. Okay, all this, all this, all this, all this, all these are hamstrings. And uh, this hamstring muscle they help you in what they help you to extend your thigh. Okay, they help you to extend. This is your thigh. They will help you in extending it. This, uh, what to say, means extend. You know the meaning of extend, right? Means, uh, means to stretch, you can say, to, to stretch uh, a little bit more. To extend your thigh as well as uh, it also helps you in bending your leg and the knees. They help you in extending your leg <coughs> as well as bending, bending your leg. Understand this hamstring? They help you in extending as well as bending. Extending, I'm just showing you extending, bending. So they help you in both, both ways. 
They they lie at the back of your thigh. Understand? Okay. Did you understand about hamstrings? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The okay, next is tibialis anterior. This one. So this is a uh, this is the tibialis anterior. So this tibialis anterior, they lie where? Then yeah, it's situated uh, here. Okay, just just below your this is your knee, just below your knee, front at the front part of your leg is situated, and uh, they are responsible for what? They are responsible for uh, raising your sole of your foot from the ground. Sole means this, okay? S O L E means this. Means, uh, I'm just showing you. This is your hand. It's not that this is your palm, P A L M palm. And suppose you just imagine this is your feet. So, uh, downside, okay? Downside. Downside is the sole. Understand? S O L E, sole. So this tibial is anterior, they help you in what? They help you in raising up your soul. Uh, sorry, raising the soul of your foot from the ground. Understand? They will help you in walking. You can say that this. Uh, you always to lift up your lift up your leg or not in this way. So they help you in that means raising up. They will help you in raising. You just imagine this one as your feet. Understand? And they help you in what? Going upside, you can see raising up when you when you jump. Understand, especially when you jump at that time, they help you. And also, and also, what when uh, girls mostly they wear heel shoes now at that time, their soul raises up or not up, this way. So in that way, uh, the uh, tibial is anterior. Uh, they help you in doing that. Understand. Okay, did you understand or not? Tibial is anterior. Anterior means front. Remember that. Okay, did you understand everyone? I'm explaining again. This is tibial is anterior. It lies where? Well at the front part of your leg. Okay. And they help you in what? They help you in raising the sole of your foot. You just imagine this is your feet. Okay. And you just imagine in that way. This is your feet and downside. Okay. Downside is known as sole. S-O-L-E. Sole. Okay. This is your foot. This is your sole. S-O-L-E. Did, did you get my point? Yes, ma'am. Ah. So this tibial is anterior. They helps in they helps in raising uh, your foot from the ground. Okay, you raise you raise your feet or not sometimes? How? Yes, How? Maybe by jumping. Okay, uh, uh, you also raise your feet even while walking also. It's not that you lift up your leg or not. Yes, you lift up your leg and walk or not. So it helps even that means it helps even lifting up, lifting up the sole of your foot. Soul means the down portion of your feet. Understand? Okay, did you understand? Tibial is anterior. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, next is soleus. This one. <coughs> this is the posterior view. This is the lateral view. Lateral means what? Sight. Understand? This is the lateral view. This is the posterior view of solis. So the solis it lies right at the back of your uh, leg, and uh, they are responsible for what? They are responsible to lower the sole of your foot to the ground. Okay, and also they are responsible for what? For maintaining uh, body posture, especially when you are walking. Understand? So they are mainly responsible. So they are mainly responsible for what? For the um, downside of your body. Okay, downside. Uh, sorry, downside of your leg. Downside of your leg. 
and they are mostly responsible for what? They are mostly responsible for maintaining your body posture. Okay, that is while you, uh, while you are walking. Understand? So the soleus, uh, they are responsible for that. Did you understand everyone about soleus? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, that was all about muscle. Are you all clear? Starting from the, from the very beginning. What, uh, what, are the, uh, what are the three types of muscle? Masmin. Masmin, they burn up. Can you name them? Wandering Moon, can you name them? Wandering Moon, can you hear me? Tulunga Nazare, can you name them? Tulunga Nazare, can you name them? Rani, Rani, view, can you name them? Yes, ma'am. Okay, name them. Smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and skeletal muscle. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Prakriti Rai, can you name me Prakriti? Prakriti Rai. Monica Rai. Monica Rai. Moi Chong. Moi Chong, can you hear me? Moi Chong Kong. Ivan, Ivan Trihun. Okay. Can you, uh, this? Wait, let me show you. This smooth muscles, huh? Can you see the screen? Can you see this? What, what? Can you see the screen? First of all, you answer me that. Can you see this yes. thing? Okay. So this is your smooth muscle, it's not it. So what, what system yes. you will be getting in the smooth muscle? What are the names of the system uh, which you will be getting in the smooth muscle? Uh, system. Yeah, what other system is? In which, which organs you will be getting smooth muscle? Means in which in which system will get uh, smooth muscles mm -hmm. in di digestive system? Mm -hmm. Then reproductive system. You you keep on saying. Uh, 
digestive system, respiratory system, and reproductive system. Anything else? See this? Can you see it, Ivan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. First is digestive system, respiratory system, and you missed out this renal system. Renal system means what? Do you know? No, ma'am. Urinary system. Okay. Respiratory system, urinary system. So, uh, the smooth muscle, they all are located there. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so smooth muscle is voluntary or involuntary? Uh, involuntary. Involuntary means? Cannot control. Which you can't control. Can't Only the brain can control, no? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, then, that's all for today's class.